What's up all you cosmically powered dudes and dudettes, Toysius here, and I got a really quick review for you today. We're going to be taking a look at the 14-inch Silver Server 1997 Toy Biz Power Cosmic Galactus. Yeah, say that all in one go. He is one heck of a figure, fantastic sculpting, fantastic light-up feature, and everything else that had to do with the 90s goodness that was Toy Biz. So without further ado, let's get into Galactus the Devourer of Worlds. This Galactus in particular is one of very many Galactus action figures out there, especially he was a big thing in the 90s when they finally got to him during the Toy Biz era. There was this one in particular that had to do with the Silver Surfer animated cartoon show, and then subsequently they did have a Galactus come with a world-ending machine that had to do with the Fantastic Four cartoon, and of course all of this started when the X-Men and then Spider-Man, and then all the rest, the Marvel Hour, and all that good stuff that hit television airways, and Toy Biz certainly took advantage of it. There is also a Marvel Universe Galactus, and he is humongous. Many would say that one of the best is the Marvel Legends Galactus, and then they also had a bit of a, let's say, 8-inch Galactus that could fit on a card back and he again was part of the same lineup as this figure the Silver Surfer animated. Galactus character was actually created by artist Jack Kirby. He was debuted in the Fantastic Four comic book in a three-part issue series that also introduced the Silver Surfer and many of you know who that character is most definitely. With all the different iterations of the Galactus and Galactus action figure I really think that this one holds its weight just in terms of the overall costume and everything else. I really feel that this one in particular emulates the artwork of Jack Kirby. It's very, very accentuated in the chest area, the lines, the over sculpting. It looks fantastic. It's a little off and I guess you would say his mask, his horns and that kind of deal. But overall, I really, really like this one and I think that he would make a great addition to let's say if you had a Jack Kirby setup or just a cosmically powered setup on your Detolf shelf. I absolutely love the way this figure is so reflective in his chrome paint. I love the helmet. I love the shadows and the textures that it gives off. It's very indicative of Jack Kirby's artwork. It's an overall aesthetically pleasing Galactus while also being a giant 14 inch figure. He's, he's great, he fits in perfectly with your Fantastic Four Marvel Legends or Silver Surfer or whomever. As you can see, he does have a battery pack on his back. And I knew this kind of going in that this was going to be a toss-up. I was either going to get this figure and he was going to work beautifully or he was coming strictly as untested. Now, usually, most of the time, when you get an untested figure, it hopefully means that, yeah, you know, they just didn't bother to do anything, but he's going to be great. Unfortunately for me, it just in this case, and I did try everything to kind of figure it out. The people who had previously owned this figure left the batteries. And if this figure's from 97, it can give you an idea of how long it's probably been sitting with the batteries inside. And as you can see, one part, if only this one part wasn't corroded, I really think that he would work to this day. If I had one complaint about this figure, though, it's his horns. They are a bit complicated and they don't exactly fit on the side of his head perfectly. They're, they look like they'd clip in rather well, but when you go to insert them, they have nothing actually to clip on to, so it's kind of weird. I would have really, really liked to have shown you exactly the electronics that this guy once had. As you can see, you push the little center button right here. And thank you very much to Super Duper Toy Box for the photo. His eyes would light up, the top part of his helmet would light up, and he would issue the command, I hunger. And it just, it sounds beautifully. God, I wish this figure still worked so I could still show you. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to still try some more things, maybe pop them open, take a look at the inner parts, see if I can get something working because this toy definitely deserves to be in working condition. His arms go up and down. He does have a elbow joint, and of course he has wrist rotation, which is actually really nice, I have to say. You're not going to get any single kind of movement out of his legs. He's a stationary figure, and his boots do not rotate. They look like they could, but as you can see right here, this hinders any type of movement. His head does rotate a very, very smidge, 
but I don't think that you'll be getting anywhere close to where you want to go with that sort of deal. And just a quick size comparison, here he is next to the brand new Marvel Legends 6-inch Silver Surfer figure. And as far as with the comic show and everything, I think he's a great, great size in terms, if you don't really want to buy the Build-A-Figure Galactus from Marvel Legends, and you really want a comic accurate, in a sense, classic Jack Kirby Galactus, then this is definitely the one for you. I highly recommend him. God, I just wish that his electronics still worked. I really, really wish I could get him to work. Man, oh man, here's hoping I can do that. So my final thoughts on the figure, with the exception of his helmet being a little bit wonky, I'm absolutely, absolutely stoked to be able to own a figure like this. I love the paint. I love the sculpt. I love the nods to Jack Kirby himself, just in the artwork with Galactus. So I highly, highly recommend you pick this figure up if you get a chance and if you just want to add a really rad figure to your collection. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review. If you liked it, hit the like button, make sure you hit the notification bell, and also be sure to subscribe when I post more videos just like this one. I will catch you guys later. Talk to you soon. Adios.